Hey everybody, it's been a really long time, but I'm happy to be back, and I just wanted to say hi and tell you guys that I'm back and that um, I will be getting right back into doing lots of videos. I'm going to be focusing a lot of my videos on doing reviews. Um, I'm going to open up my series that I started on the Looks for Less, where I showed you guys different um, looks that you can do with both high and low end makeup, and how you can duplicate some high end makeup with some lower end products. So that's going to be exciting. Um, I'm also going to be doing a contest, and I'm really excited about the contest. I've asked a couple of gurus to help me out in judging the contest. Um, I've asked like two or three people, and they're going to help me. And hopefully we will be able to um, pick a winner. I didn't want to do it by myself. I didn't want to pick the winner by myself. So I figured I'd ask them to help me out and get them involved. And I'm really excited about that. There's some great prizes, some limited edition MAC products. Um, some really cool pro prizes. There's going to be at least two winners, um, so stay tuned for that. I also will have a little mini series on my channel that my cousin is going to actually help me with. Um, I've been getting some comments from viewers that are a lot younger, and you know what better than to ask a younger person to help me out on that. So my cousin, she's 11 years old, and she really wanted to. Um, do some videos with me, so I'm really excited to show you those. I may actually upload the first one tonight. We've recorded, uh, I think we recorded three videos, and she wants to do some more, and whatever comments she'll get in those videos, she may make a question-answer video, so definitely stay tuned for that as well. And I also wanted to um, take this video as um, to show you guys my favorites for the month. Um, I know that so many people do these favorites videos, but I love watching them, and I figured, you know what, since I love them, I may as well make one myself and jump on the, the bandwagon of doing the favorites. I can't promise that I'll do it every month, but I'm going to certainly try. Um, so I will show you guys some of the things that I've been using and loving for this month. So I guess it's from, from June to today's July 7th, I think, so... The first is a NARS duo that I'm absolutely in love with. I had the Orgasm Laguna duo, and that one's okay, but Laguna, for some reason, always makes me look dirty. I don't know why, when I put it on my face, it's just, it's not good for my skin tone. But here's, um, I don't know if you can see that, because I don't have a mirror behind my camera, so I can't tell what you're seeing, but um, it's in Sin and Casino. Those are the names of the colors. And Sin is like kind of like a berry with a little bit of gold shimmer. And Casino is like the perfect bronzer that I've found so far. Um, it doesn't make me look dirty. It doesn't make me look orange. Um, I tried so many bronzers, but so far I like this one the best. What I also really like about this duo, well, at least about the bronzer, is the color is really buildable. So there are days when I go to work, and I'll put it on just to give myself a little more color in my face. But then there are days where I'm going out for the night, and I want to look like I'm even more tan, and I want to just make myself look darker, and I can really build on this color without it looking fake or, like, muddy looking. So I even have people ask me if I've been tanning and stuff just from using this bronzer. So it's great. I love it. Along with that, I'm actually wearing, I don't know if you can see on my cheek, I'm wearing the um, Thin Blush over my second favorite blush for the month, which is this one. I don't know if you can see. It's Max on a Mission Blush from the um, Style Warriors collection. And I really like it. It's also kind of almost like a berry-ish, but like a plummy berry color. Um, with very subtle sparkles and together these two colors look really pretty because um, sometimes thin can be a little intense so it kind of neutralizes it. Um, the next favorite I have, I know you guys are all sick of the Hello Kitty collection but I'm really liking this uh, quad and it's the Lucky Tom quad. I didn't buy it when Hello Kitty came out. I actually bought it um, later. I bought it like a month ago, and I love it because of the three, you know, there's the kind of goldy color, Paradisco, the um, purpley, which is called Silent, and then the brown Lucky Tom with sparkles, but when you put it on, the sparkles are really subtle, and just by using the three colors minus the um, Silent color, you can make a really pretty daytime appropriate, work appropriate look look for the summer. And the Paradisco is really light, so it'll give you a little more color on your eye. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that look, but I've been wearing it to work a lot, and I'm getting a lot of compliments, and it looks really good, and it's appropriate for work. 
So love that about that um, quad. This brush is the MAC 150 and it's really fluffy. I'm actually looking for something even fluffier than this so if anyone has any suggestions definitely put them in the comments section. I'd like to know something even fluffier to put on bronzer with. Um, I've been using this. I use it for powder. I'm probably going to buy another one because I use this for like powder, for bronzer, sometimes to blend out my blush even. Um, even though it's kind of big I have used it for that. Um, but it's great for bronzer. I really like it. It um, it definitely blends it well. And um, But I would like to get something a little bit fluffier. Something else I really, really love is this lipstick. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's called Angel. It's a really light, frosty pink color. Um, and it's just perfect. Um especially for the summertime. I've worn it underneath Pink Poodle Lip Glass and it looks really pretty. I've also worn it under Insign Luster Glass, which um, I think was from the Naughty Nauticals collection last year. I'm not, I don't remember. Sorry, my memory card was full and it cut me off. So, okay, basically what I was talking about was one of my favorite um, eyeshadows for the month and it's a highlighting color. It's a really light color. It's this one. It is called Vapor, and it's really, really pretty. It's probably one of the most underrated colors from MAC. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the swatch of it, but that's it. It's a really, really light pink, almost creamy kind of pink, and there's very subtle sparkles in it. So it's not this, like, chunky, over-the-top glitter that you'll find in, like, Urban Decay, a lot of Urban Decay shadows. It's a really subtle, subtle, um, almost shimmery sparkle. I wouldn't call it glitter, it's more of a sparkle. Two other products I wanted to talk about. Um, it's great for the summer. One is an eyeshadow quad. It's by Revlon. This one is in um, Copper Spice, but I have several. I have one in Blushed Wines, and these are all just the same type of thing, different colors. This one has some more purple and green. It's in Lavender Meadow. I have one in coffee bean. This one is in natural khakis. And the last one I have is berry bloom. And um, what I like these shadows for are for the super hot humid days. Um, I work in Manhattan in New York City and I take the subway every single day back and forth to work and if you guys have ever been on the New York City subway in the summertime, you will know that that platform gets like an oven. When you're waiting for the train, it seriously gets like like an oven. I cannot even tell you how warm it is down there. There's no ventilation um, and you're with crowded people. It's hot. It's humid. It's like an oven. Seriously. And this is the best shadow for days when it's just super hot um, because it actually... It's advertised as a 12-hour eyeshadow, and it really does last long, especially if you put it over a good base like, you know, Urban Decay Primer Potion or um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a paint, a shade stick, a really good base. Um, put this over it, and seriously, my eyeshadow will last all day at work. It'll last when I come home from work. Um, it won't crease. And the colors are really pigmented. I'm surprised that the colors are so pigmented for a drugstore makeup. Um, and finally, the last thing I'm going to talk about is by Eucerin. It is a face lotion. Um, it's, so it's a moisturizer. It's for sensitive skin, fragrance-free, um, and it has an SPF of 30. Protects against uh, UVA and UVB rays. Um, so, I mean, I'll do a review on this and I'll read all the stuff in the back, but absolutely love this product. I've been using it for over a month. Um, use it every single day. I feel like my face is protected from the sun. Um, the only weird thing is when you put it on, it's like really white because of all the, I guess, SPF in it. But, you know, as you rub it into your skin and wait a while, it'll go away. I put it under my makeup every day. It doesn't crease my makeup. It won't make my makeup separate. Um, I have very sensitive skin and it definitely doesn't make me break out. In fact, my skin's been even healthier since I've been using it. So those are my favorites for June. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you like these products, if you use them. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.